I can't believe it. Two jobs, one month. I can't believe it, man. Jimbo, what are you doing? What are you doing What's here? What's up, man? You haven't heard? Oh. I lost two jobs this month, man. Two of them. I thought you only had one job on the radio. Well, well, I got fired from that, and then I came to Little Rosie's, and they fired me just now. I mean, did you lose your job, and now you're doing cocaine now, or what, dude? No, it's a family recipe. Some sort. I was trying to make a taco. I got caught up. I snorted once, and he got all upset. God, you're just a mess. once. Why are you so judgy? Oh, you gotta God. stay away from the masa, man. Ah, get it off me. Get it off me, man. Oh. It was a good family recipe, though. I gotta be honest. Well, I know you got radio skills. Yeah. And I think I may have a little something for you. you I have a job? Not making tacos. Okay, okay. It's not snorting. Coke. I'm in. Yeah, just. I want a job, man. Stop f***ing touching me. All right, Edmund, let's go. Today on the Jimbo and Edmund Show. Job hunting with Jimbo. Time to get that job and get some of that cash, baby. Woo. Look at that. Ooh, that's a perfect tortilla. Oh, what yeah. the f are you sniffing it, Chapo? Just once. Is that bad? And later on, the world's worst Super Bowl commercials. Sexy. Right here in Colton, California, we're about to do pump polls. We're gonna find out what the people think, who's gonna win the big game, and some other stuff. So I don't really care. You do not care. I don't care. Hey, is it? hey you know something, though? What's that? West Coast, baby. West Coast, that's right. I gotta ask you, have you had the pleasure of uh, being in the back seat with anybody? Of course. Yeah? <laughs> Hey, bathroom. Bathroom. Living room. Wherever, man, right? Kitchen. Yeah, wherever the mood hits. Bedroom. If the mood hits, you hit it. Everybody and welcome to the first official Jimbo and Inman show. I am so glad we're here, man. It's a tough, tough break, man. I mean, you've been in radio for over 21 years. 21 plus years, and then the, the gauntlet landed. You know, January 9th, the day after Elvis's birthday, to believe it or not, oh. and uh, it had to come. So every time I celebrate Elvis's birthday, I'm going to think about the day I was. Deactivated. Deactivated. Yeah. I, I think at the day. Discharge. Discharge yeah. was a word they used. And I was I, like, wow, that sounds like something you get in Vegas that follows you home. Yeah. But I, uh, I was discharged on January 9th. I, I'm going to um, celebrate that and, and make a peanut butter with banana and fry it every year. There you, you know, go. When that happens. So we'll, we'll have that on the next <laughs> show next year. I like that. Let's do that. That'd be a way to help ease the pain of what happened. But we are excited to be here. It is in the series of this is the, the launch party, pretty much. It really is in. This weekend is the big game. Super Bowl is happening, so we are putting our whole show themed around that by basically, well, speaking of sadness, let's let's take a quick look at this picture. Uh -oh. um, are you doing this, Edmund? Yeah, I mean, we're going All from right. sad, yep. and, and that sad story became good because now we're here together. That's but true. We want to talk about the other sad story, your football team. Go ahead and pull that picture up on the screen. Let's check right, this out real here quick. Here we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> Uh, explain this, Jimbo. Go ahead and caption this for us. All righty. Just uh, for those of you who don't really know, I've been a Minnesota Viking fan since 1976. They lost uh, to the, the Raiders in 77 of the Super Bowl. So I said, oh, okay, I'm going to like the Vikings because they're purple and they beat the Bears all the time. And I grew up in Chicago. And there I am at Cludes and Redlands. That is the game, the NFC playoff game, where the Eagles completely destroyed my Vikings and my family's dreams. Look at that. I've seen more smiles at the breadline during the Depression. I don't know if you've seen pictures, but look at that. My beautiful daughter, Francesca, by my side. Bryce holding the football. And look at my boy, Jimmy, the God. chosen one on my right. And just 
Well, you can tell by the look of my face, and I'm like, here we go again. The only words that come to my mind is dreams shattered right there. Just all in one picture. Just, yeah. Uh, and, and I think that was during the third quarter, and that was like uh, I knew that uh, there, was no, there, there wasn't going to be no miraculous comeback, but I hung in there. The family huddled up, and, uh, well, misery loves company, and another Super Bowl that my team will not be in again. All right, get rid of that piano. Yeah, music. come that on. I was in a good mood. We're doing a launch so, party. So depressing, man. <laughs> Well, we want to talk about, we send you out job hunting. Okay, we we yeah. sent you to a place called Little Rosie's. You learned how to make tacos. I heard a little bit about masa sniffing. Why don't you go ahead and elaborate on your taco making yeah. experience? Well, I'm just telling you, you know, it's, it's, it's a weird time right now for me because I had uh, the same job for over two decades. And then before I know it, bam, here you go. I got to hit the streets and look for a job, you know? Without further ado, this is Job Honey with Jimbo here on the Jimbo and Inman Show. Wish me luck. Job hunting with Jimbo. Time to get that job and get some of that cash, baby. Woo! Hola, my amigo. I am looking for a job. I am jobless. I've been discharged. You got applications? What kind of experience do you have? I made in a ton of quesadillas for my kids when they get home from school, so I am ready to attack Little Rosie's. But you ain't brown. I made beige kids, and I'm willing to learn, sir. I'm the man for the job. Now, do you speak Spanish? Si, ish. Occasionally. Guacamole. I know I know the key ingredients. And I got discharged from my radio gig. Wow, you have like a little creepy voice. Maybe we could put you in the drive-thru. I could work your drive-thru. I got a voice, baby. Really? I got a jabajo! As long as you never say that word again. What, jabajo? You said it, man! All right, all right, I promise. Well, get to work. <laughs> I got a jabajo! You said it again! All right, I'll stop! The number one taco station in Southern California. Little Rosie's, baby. She's hot. Sending that taquito out to Fontana. Thanks for checking in. Well, you're in luck, because you just won yourself a free burrito. Hey, man. I could do this job, man. What the hell are you doing? No, 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 no. Give me a chance. You're scaring the customers away. No, give me a chance. Let me tone it down a bit. With that quesadilla, would you like to hear a little skinner? I'm a free bird, baby. Now, come on. All right, this is simple, OK? Yep. This is a family secret. OK. Don't tell anybody, I'll kill you. All right, cool, cool. I won't, I won't. Okay. All right, I got this. OK, roll forward, backward, forward, back. Shut the f up. All right. OK? No. Then what? Then you throw on the f***ing grill. All right, all right. Oh, this is easy. I got this. Look at that. Ooh, that's a perfect tortilla. Oh, yeah. What the f*** are you sniffing it, Chapo? Just once. Is that bad? You're f***ing fired. Come on, man. I need this trabajo. You said it again. Ah! What's up with the family recipe? What are you, Narcos? I think. <laughs> God, man. I got a little caught up into uh, the family recipe and stuff, I guess, you know, and uh, I was experimenting. Like I said, this is a weird, I've had the same job for over two decades. I don't know what to do with myself. This is very weird. I had the greatest job with the worst hours. No disrespect, farmers, but those hours suck. Let me tell you, waking up for the morning show, but I gave it my all, but uh, maybe Maybe better luck next week. I, you know, I sort of had like this uh, this epiphany. Like my, my, I got all tingly inside when you're like, I've got a voice. I can do the drive. Yes. I was like, that makes sense. That would work. You play to your strength. I was I, hoping that maybe, yeah. just maybe, I could be the voice of Little, of little Rosie's in Ukaipa. And he failed. So, uh, yeah, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> Still great burritos. If you get a chance down, they don't fail when they make those burritos. I'm telling you. And since I'm not getting paid for this job, <laughs> come on, Little Rosie's, how about an ex-employee discount? What yeah, do you say? Yeah. <laughs> I was I was driving by obviously and it saw you out there. I, I saw some guy throwing towels on the ground and, and it had like flour all over his face. I'm like, man, this guy's coked out. Oh, it's Jimbo. Ah! What are you doing? It was like an e true Hollywood story, yeah. man. It was like, duh. 
It was like my guardian <laughs> angel showed up. It's like, wait, is Hope lost? <laughs> no, there's Edmund with a job, man. That doesn't pay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in. How can I say no to that? Oh, you know? man. <laughs> uh, Little Rosie's was fun. I want to thank Jose yep. Guerrero out, out there at Little Rosie's. He's, he's had that job for many years. I got to tell you, he's one of my uh, favorite ex-bosses, too. Yeah, he really so, is. I yeah. mean, he can get up in your face, too, can't yeah. he? Yeah. Oh, he's, 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 a, he's a driver, man. He makes you work for it. But uh, I hope to still use you on my resume because I'm still looking for a job. You, like, destroyed that ball of matzo and turned it into, like, pizza. <laughs> You mean you made the masa and the mozzarella and pizza all in one? It was just absolutely. I'm German Irish. I got to be honest. I don't know what I do. I made beige kids, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't know what I'm doing. I'm used to eating tacos and stuff, but I guess, uh, I guess I'll never make them as a living. You know. Well, moving on, uh, we yeah. we actually sent you out your new gig. Um, it's it's a place that you've been many times when you were doing radio, and yep. I, I think it was great because everybody knows who you are out there, obviously. So when you showed up. You had several people talking about, uh, what, what is it called? You tell us what the it's segment's called. Five Point Gasoline right there in uh, Colton, California. If you want some of the cheapest gas prices on the planet, go see VIP at Five Point in Colton. And we gas up our vehicles there. We've done some events there, giving away burgers and whatnot and tickets to things. And uh, it was good. Just It felt good to be in my environment. And uh, I guess I'm uh, used to having a microphone in my hand. So I become a, a natural like that. So it felt good. I wanted to find out who people we're picking for the big game this Sunday, you know, and uh, maybe get to know a few other things as well. Without further ado, this is the Pump Poles here Pump Poles. on the Jimbo and Inman Show. Here we are at Five Point Gasoline, the place where you can get the cheapest gas on the planet right here in Colton, California. We're about to do pump polls. We're gonna find out what the people think, who's gonna win the big game, and some other stuff. All right, here we are, pump polls. What's your name? Kevin. Where are you from? Colton, California. Who's gonna win the big game Sunday? I don't know. You don't know? Nope. Do you care? Not really. You're not a football guy? Not so much, I Which... like snakes. Snakes, all nice. right, look at that. Nice. Who's gonna win the big game on Sunday? Um, I'm not really sure. Do you care? Yeah, I do care. Oh, yes. But it's supposed to be a marijuana. Hey! I, well, I've boycotted the whole season, so I don't really care. You do not care. I don't care. Now, hey, is it, hey, you know something, though? What's that? West Coast, baby. West Coast, that's right. I got to ask you, have you had the pleasure of uh, being in the back seat with anybody? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, bathroom. Bathroom. Living room. Wherever, man, right? Kitchen. Yeah, wherever the mood hits. Bedroom. If the mood hits, you hit it. What's your name? Vernon. Where are you from? Hassan Heights. Right on. And what do you do here at Five Point Gasoline? A smog technician and automotive mechanic. That's right. He's smogged many of my vehicles and knows that uh, I need to probably lube up more often. <laughs> that is true. That is true. Now, I got to ask you, what are you pumping here? What vehicle is this? A Lexus 2003 and way, man. Okay, you here know, we go. I'm going to hey, introduce yourself. Sound hey, good? Hey, my name is T-Money, man. We just hanging out here, you know, on the 215. That's with, it. Jim, with Jimbo, you know, hanging out. You know, everything very good. Nice That's and right. sunny in California. What's your name? My name is Destiny. And where are you from? Grand Terrace, California. And where do you work? In Five Points Gas Station That's in Colton. Right. What's your favorite snack here at Five Point Gasoline in Colton? I love the ice cream they have here. Yeah? Yes. Do you ever steal? Never. Never? Okay, yeah. <laughs> so it was with your wife, not yourself? Oh, of course, yeah. No, totally not by myself. She gets mad when I'm friendly with myself. Okay, yeah, she likes you to save your chi for your yes. woman. Yes, she does. Now, I got to ask you, who's going to win the big game this Sunday? The Eagles? Sunday. The Patriots? Oh. Yeah? But I, I, I think the Patriots will take it. Any, any last statements you want to say? Have a beautiful day. All right, that's pump polls for today. And as we saw, it was a nation divided. Some people thought Eagles, some thought Patriots. Some people just don't care. For the smokes of America, America, marijuana. We want to thank VIP and the guys at Five Point Gasoline for letting us use their place. And if you want the cheapest gas on the planet, get on down to Five Point Gasoline right here in Colton, California. Good times, good times, wouldn't you say? And that, my friends, is the pump poles. I got to say, my yeah. favorite guy in there is uh, T-Money. I think that's his uh, name. T-Money, West Coast, baby. Put a smoke some America, America, marijuana. I just thought it was hilarious because he's like, bedroom, 
bathroom. But when he says the words kitchen, he's got the biggest grin. He's all, uh, kitchen. Yeah, because you're that much closer to a sandwich. Yeah. You know what I mean? If he, uh, if you needed to rehydrate, you know, because he looks like a love machine. I got to be honest, any lady that has the pleasure of getting mounted by him, count yourself. That's a blessing right there, I'm yeah. telling you. Stay away from the <laughs> Lunchables, man. <'cause laughs> So, uh, I'm not eating anything in that dude's uh, house. I'm but that sorry. was a great time. Thanks to all the people that uh, talked to us out there, especially you, VIP, Five Point Gasoline, and Colton. Well, the thing is, is I want to find T-Money one day. So, T-Money, if you are watching right now, please please get a hold of us. We think you are hilarious. I don't know where you came from. I thought you were some guy that was Jimbo's friend or something. Obviously not. Yeah. We are in search of T-Money. So, if you know T-Money and you recognize that guy, please inbox us. And we will go stalk him. Absolutely. Our new best friend, T Money. We need you, bro. You've been there from the very beginning. And what do you expect? About 3,000 episodes we're going to do of this show? Oh, my God. The gray gray hairs just sprouted everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> we won't get into detail we'll about that. We'll take it show by show, I show, guess. Show by show. Okay, show I would by like show. to hit 3,000, absolutely. And the only way that this is going to work is with the people out there watching. It works through viewers, it works with shares. You get us out there, and you keep watching us, and, and just leave us on there. You, you leave room for sponsorship. And, this guy can get paid. Yeah, this is a crazy new format for this because before I used to just violate your ear holes. Now because of my massive forehead, I'm in your face. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you're having a good time. We're having a good time doing this and we want to do it again and again. So like uh, Inman said, Please click like, share. Let's do this more and more. What do you say? And we could be coming to your stomping grounds and you could be on this show. What a thrill that would be. Yeah, huh? we're going to be broadcasting live, hopefully uh, from Little Rosie's here soon. I think that that would be great. You could take the uh, the, the polls going on at the burrito polls or Absolutely. whatever. Something like that. Also, too, uh, thanks to our good friends over there at uh, Jam Sportswear in Redlands. You see our awesome logo that we created. And pretty soon we're going to have more stickers that we can maybe put on your vehicle. And uh, I heard you get about... Three more miles to the gallon if you put on a Jimbo and Inman sticker. And shirts are being made right now as we speak, so we'll have a pickup location for that as well. It won't be at my house because, well, my wife would probably get Yes, no, we, we need yeah. you to have a wife. You wouldn't be good single. <laughs> I so, would know. Thank you, Jam Sportswear in Redlands. That's where we're getting our gear done. Absolutely. Well, let's talk about, you know, the big game is this weekend, the big Super Bowl. Sometimes during the Super Bowl, we, we tend to enjoy a guilty little pleasure of watching the commercials. There's some people that that's the only reason they watch the Super Bowl. Because to be honest, uh, once again, I'm not watching my team in the Super Bowl. Yeah, thanks for that, Jimbo. Uh, but uh, the Super Bowl, sometimes you got winners and you got losers, don't you? Yeah, sometimes the losers being uh, the worst commercials in the world is uh, coming up right now. Okay. And, and these are like the world's worst commercial they never even made made it to TV that bad. But you kept them anyways. We kept them anyways oh, because okay. we're going to give them a little bit of light today. We're going to give these guys a little redemption, a little bit of hope. This is the world's worst Super Bowl commercials coming in and starting at number three. It's the world's worst Super Bowl commercials. So bad, they never seen the light of day. Tonight, that changes with the world's worst commercials. Football edition. Coming in at number three. Discount Power Rangers. Soon, the world will be without Doritos. Flavorless, forever! Oh no! It's Chip Nasty. Here comes the Flavor Ranger. He's trying to steal all the flavor in the world. Forever! Hooray! Nacho cheese. Spicy sweet chili. Not again! Ow. Coming in at number two, Prison Chips. At number one, edit, undo. Buddy, pal, how you doing? As a matter of fact, I'm just finishing up right now and I'm off to the game. Off to the game? Well, yep. before you go to the game, I'm gonna have you handle this. But I was going to the game but, and I... But, but, I'll see you at the game. Hey boss, big pass. On second thought, 
take the day off. Unwind with Doritos. The world's worst commercials. Football edition. And that is the world's worst Super Bowl commercials. Yep, I can see why you picked those, Inman. You can see number one uh, featured my ugly mug in there yeah. when I was about <laughs> 10 years younger. So that's probably the reason why we're seeing those here today. Yeah, that's right. But in spite of that, I still am craving some Doritos. I got to be honest with you. So. <laughs> What's your favorite Dorito, Inman? Uh, my favorite Dorito is none because they're bad for you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. like them all. I yeah. can't decide. I so. like Dos Locos Tacos, the Trace Locos, or whatever they call those. Um, Something Doritos like Locos. that. Anyways. Yeah, world's worst Super Bowl commercials. Now, I've got to say, I've got a big surprise. You've got a big surprise. You know the surprise. But yes, I do. They don't know the surprise. This is pretty cool. You're going to like this. You've been probably kind of wondering, what the hell's going on, man? There's some people in the Inland Empire without jobs, or the Jimland Empire, like I like to call it. But what are some other people doing? Jimbo wasn't the only person discharged. Some of the things that died were some of your favorites. Um, and, you know, we're, we're not talking about DJs here. We're talking about a thing called the bedtime story. I remember that kind you of. You remember sorta. that? <laughs> Let me think. Oh, yeah. A lot of people love that thing. So, yes, Jimbo's bedtime story, it was probably a staple here in the Jimlin Empire for a while. We made CDs out of it. A quick little plug, uh, Lotions and Lace, they actually uh, carried our CDs for a while. So I want to thank them for uh, lowering their taste. But I guess, uh, you know, it was cool that they wanted to carry the Jimbo's bedtime story. Well, I'm pretty excited about it because we have a very special guest that's going to be joining us. Actually, you're going to be going to this person's garage and yes. hanging out. And all I got to say is Stu Man the is Stu joining the show. Yeah. Come on, people. Give it up. The stew man. I mean, what was the coolest thing ever is back in 1987 when I moved from Chicago, uh, he was the DJ at my favorite station at the time, and I would listen to him. I was cutting pipe in Fontana. Pipe and cutter. That's 10 hours of cutting pipe and stuff, and I loved him. The stew man. And then, obviously, years later, I got to work with the old bastard. So it was a dream come true, a dream I didn't know I even had, but I got to spend over two decades making some great memories with the stew man, doing some of the most fun radio I, I, I've ever done in my life. So, stew man. We love you, brother, and we are going to your garage, baby. We're very excited about this segment. I'm pretty excited because uh, about 17 years ago, I used to work with you guys. Uh -huh. um, you know, we all had that boss that didn't want me on the show. Yeah, you guys. he now, hated you. He couldn't stop he us, He hated baby. it, man. He hated me, man. <laughs> he hated the Asian persuasion with the twist of Caucasian. He yeah. hated that. You Good know what? Stand him. I'm, okay. I, you know, that's a pass. It's that's a pass. right. We got to let go. Stu, man, though, what, and you. We're obviously those kind of guys that kind of said, ah, don't worry about this. You're going to be focusing on doing this anyway, so who cares? But, you know, I just want to say Stu has been a big inspiration in my radio career as well. Right. So I'm very excited to have him on the show. Yes. We get to go in his domain. He's probably going to just do whatever he wants, smoke cigarettes, smoke weed, possibly. Whatever he does in the garage. I'm going to find out. I've been there a few times, but I cannot wait to go back in Stu's garage. And we're going to catch up with the Stu man next time you watch the Jimbo and Inman show. Yes, next week. It is a bedtime story, and that will be coming. It up we are gonna uh throw this show out here real quick okay um what we're gonna do is on a weekly basis we're gonna probably feature some music artists local artists and stuff because we're we're, we're used to the music world we've been in that industry for a long time absolutely so go ahead and submit your videos to us you can go to the messenger submit your music videos if you have a band a music video or whatnot go ahead and do that but to kick things off um, what are you gonna do I, I just happen to bring a video of you uh, I took the liberty upon myself to make a music video as a demo, so I figured we just, you know, go out with the show with a bang. What do you think? Uh, will it be a bang or will it be a, a uh, fizzle? It, uh, <laughs> I ain't something like that. <laughs> I want to All thank right. everybody out there for joining us for yes. the support. So much support. I can't even believe it, man. It's our launch party. You hopefully witnessed history, either the, the first and only ever. But I got to go. I want to celebrate the 3,000th show, and we want to come all over the place. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if you want to tell them what we're doing in March. I, uh, you know, let's save that for next week. All right. Be sure to listen next week. Join us right here on Facebook Live. You can also catch the show on Amazon. Yeah. In about two weeks, about a week later, it'll be up on Amazon. So you can catch up on all the uh, the material that you missed out on. So make sure you check that out. And also, another on another note, um, that's it. The show's that's done. It. All right. Cool. 
Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Inman, we did it, man. We did it, kind of. He's Jimbo. He's Inman. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. Summer tea, summer there.